Let's say you want to add a sequence number to individual items that go through an app, something like purchase request one, two, three, and so on. Go into the form of your app, add a number field and give it a title. I'll use PR number. Then click on more options. You'll see an option to make this a computed field. Select yes and then it will ask for the formula. If you just want a number to show, enter sequence NO. Let's look at it in the live form. The sequence number will only be generated after the item is first submitted. If it is in a draft stage, it will not register as a sequence number, so the field may be empty in the initial form. Here's what it looks like when it's in the workflow. If you want to put a prefix in front of the number, such as PR, put in this formula. You can also add the year like this. and add the month like this. That's how to add sequence numbers in Kissflow. To see a full list of options for adding the sequence number, go to help.kissflow.com slash sequence numbers.